Hey there guys, OGM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Kirby 64. Last time, I completed level 3 and 4 for you guys in World 2. However, last time we got to the boss, and you guys saw me die many times. I cried myself to sleep, whatever. Off screen though, I grabbed one of my favorite power-ups as a kid. And also one of the most helpful power-ups to me as a kid. Just basically your gigantic spike trap. This is probably one of the easiest power-ups to take out the original like three companions. Like the artist and uh, Waddle Dee. Or Waddle Doo, rather, when he's the boss. And King DDD. Oh, excuse me again. Sorry about that. And King DDD. However, for these actual like bosses... It can be questionable. I've beaten this boss with this power-up before. Then again, though, as you guys saw with my best power-up in the whole game, I actually lost to the boss. But so far, so good, it seems. I mean, we haven't got hit yet. Yet, being the key word. And I'm probably going to get hit here. Okay, maybe not. I'll take it. I'll take it. I might have found a sweet spot. Maybe. Never mind. Never mind. Sorry. Sorry. Just dodge all the... Let me just say, we made it to the top without getting hit. There could be a chance of us winning it this time. Let's just get some claps out here right now, because truly I'm happy about that. Yeah, try to get one more out there. Green crystal, green crystal. And get hit anyway. See if I can kill a blue one, or not. I don't know if I said this last episode, guys, because it's been a while since I recorded. Oh, crap. Hope for the best, hope for the best, hope for the best. Oh, my gosh, that just saved us. You saw it here first, guys. You saw it here first. Please, 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 please. We just barely dodged that. It's probably really cheap. I don't care. It counts. All right. Now we are down to the blue crystal being our final boss. Peace, I guess. The problem being, with this boss, the blue one, in my own opinion, is probably the hardest. The reason being this power-up right here. For the very last part, as you guys can see, they all have unique powers, as I'm sure that you guys saw throughout the last battle and the last episode and this one. However, the blue one's last power is that whole entire me getting hit. Is that whole entire spin. Okay, maybe this is it. Maybe this is it. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. It's coming around one more time. But, uh, that spin. There's no way to dodge it except to outrun it. I should have hit it there, but I hit it. I don't care. I'll take it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Really? Really? Oh, okay. Okay, he's raining. He's raining. Come on. There. There. They're done. They're done. They're done. In my own opinion, the hardest boss of the whole game. Grab our crystal. Cheer. And honestly, let's get out of here. Ugh. Go on without me, guys. Of course, of course. Food solves all the problems, right? It's an apple! Oh. Oh, he still got that power up. I honestly thought that was only due to the whole entire uh, black eyeball thing that he had that power. But, oh. Okay, now we're going to a raindrop. And rock it away. Two. World 3, Level 3, Continent 3, or if this can even be considered a continent. Um, regardless though, the Aqua Star. So guys, this is World 3, and as the name says, this is the Aqua Star. It's a water level. Again, anyone else thinking of Mario yet? I mean, 
started out in like the whole entire grassy area, which is like normally where Peach's castle is, right? And then we're in the desert, and now we're here in like the whole entire water area. Anyone else see anything like that? Oh well. Well, also, as the name says, this is Aqua Level. Or Aqua Land, rather. Not an awkward. Awkward, yes, that was. That was real intelligent. No. What I was really trying to say was, um. Since it says this is the Aqua World, that, um, we're gonna need. Like, water power ups, basically. Or we're gonna have to deal with people with, like, water abilities. For example, come down here, there's these little squiddies. They thrive in the water. We don't want to screw with them in the water. These fish, too. Completely harmless to us before. Out of the water, but now that we're in a whole entire water level, these things can be very harmful. But, um, enough about that. Let's go in, like, the seaside cave. Eat this crab. Because crab's delicious. Grab our stars and get shot out of this green guy. Keep going. Okay, get hit there, whatever. It's not like I needed that health anyway. Let's just, uh, dance to the maracas here. Alright, we're done. Just blast through those scarfies, fall down here, grab our crystal. And we'll just jam out one more time. And then we'll rock it away. And I can fall, because I'm an idiot. Kill this flying guy. Uh, well, maybe not. Okay, now I will. Just because I can. Get rid of the squid. Penguin! I want to eat him. Yeah, ice. Alright, so remember how I said in that whole entire like, desert cave that there was a power-up? It's actually, I can get it in this level. For some reason, I just got those two mixed up. I was, I guess it's because they're both like caves, and so I was just thinking, oh, we're in a cave, so this must be it. No, but uh, that rock and ice power-up, it gives you a unique power-up that's actually very useful. However, one of the crystals in here requires ice and bombs. And I remember this crystal when I was a kid, because... Back then, like I said, I just, I didn't like bombs, and you guys now know why, and I even remember why. But, uh, yeah. With that power-up, as you guys just saw, we're now a snowman bomb. You hit anything, you blow up, but so do they. If anything gets hit in the blast radius, they freeze. But, uh, just anything that actually hits us directly, they obviously blow up. So let's just blow up one of these guys, and let's freeze the other one. See? Just plain and simple. So... I'm no longer going to be, like, dragging out the episode a little bit, because I'm just using this power-up to, like, use as a shell, but, I mean, why not? If you have it, use it, right? There's a fish out of water again. Spooky ghosty, that's now dead. Okay, tried to save myself, didn't work. Just keep walking. We made it out. Yeah. Alright, mini-boss time. So, these guys. These guys are basically, like, um booze again and also just like the scarfies when you get on their level they're nice however when you get away from them and on a whole new level basically they're uh just these cool unusual punishment guys that just want to like stick stick their spikiness through you and uh you guys can take that as you will but um oh thank God, grab the max tomato that I really needed right there. He okay, that could have been bad. Like I said, those fish come back with a vengeance now. However, it's fine. Let's just get hit down there. Wait, what the? No, no, no. Wait, what? Okay, okay, whatever. I have my power up still. For some reason, I thought I couldn't fly while I had this power up, and I don't know why. Probably because I can't fly when I'm using it. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. We're here. We made it. I'm on that guy's level. On that guy's. Let's just kill this fish. And as you guys see right here is the pallet swap. Let's just wait here till the bomb goes off. 
And let's fall down on our green slime guy. Grab our crystal, break out the top, and that should make three, if I remember correctly. Should. Yeah, okay, okay. Get hit there, because why not, right? That's a thing. As I'm sure you guys can all tell by now, that's definitely a thing in my LP for this game. Getting hit, just, just to get hit. Alright, here we go. Monster card again, guys. Monster card, monster card, that's what we need. Ready, and jump! Okay, I that was really close to not getting it, so I'm surprised that we actually got that one. We actually still have a lot of time left in this episode, too, so um, let's go to World 3, Level 2. And if you guys remember from the original Kirby games, this is actually one of the classic Kirby pieces. I mean, just listen here for a second. You guys recognize it? But yeah. So, let's just keep going through here. They give you a lot of bombs for this level, and I honestly don't remember why. I have to admit, from the Aqua level on, my memory starts to get foggy for this game, because, um, as a kid, I've beaten this game 100%ed, like, maybe once, twice if I'm lucky. But, um, it was just, it was a fun game, and I really wanted to play it, so I figured, okay, this will be my LP for you guys. But just run, 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 still running, run, 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 and we made it. Okay. Now let's try ice and electricity, because I don't remember this power up. Oh, never mind, I do remember this power up. It's the power up that I completely think is unnecessary. Let's get rid of this power up actually. Let's try fire. And let's actually get a good combination out of fire. Because the last one that we had was not too, uh, not too rewarding to me. But as you guys see, mini boss. He gave us these crabs. However, that crab wasn't it. There it is up there, guys. King crab. And as you see, there's another pilot swap. We need fire and brown, it looks like. So rock. Fire and rock is what we're going to need. And we will get that. Break out the wall. And just keep running. Oh, it's a little waddle friend again. Alright, so now we're in like a... I want to say basket, but it's not really a basket. It's a crate. So, um, yeah, a wooden crate, basically. As you guys can see, like, uh, a lot of the Kirby games, when, like, ever you transform to, like, Racer Kirby and stuff, like, for Kirby's Epic Yarn... You get that whole entire, like, warning sign. If you get hit there, as you see, you just lose health. No big deal. It's not like you lose a life or anything, thankfully. However, these things can get very annoying because, as I'm sure you guys can tell by now, if you short hold the A button, it's just a little jump. But, oh, uh, okay, I can get hit there, whatever. But if you hold the A button, you can get a longer and higher jump. And as you guys can tell, these blocks come in different shapes and sizes. Some of them you have to use the long hold, some of them you have to use the short one. But now we fall down the waterfall and we lose our waddle dee friend. Great. I swear that guy should be dead by now. He got hit in the head. He just like fell down a waterfall. Somehow we survived the waterfall, but I, I don't even know. Let's just race this pig because we can. So uh, why not? Killing everything in our pathway. Oh, crystal, crystal, crystal. I actually almost forgot about that one. And we're still looking for a rock power up. And we beat both pigs. We came in first place. And don't worry, that's not actually a race. I just wanted to do it for the fun of it. Alright, so those log guys. Believe it or not, they're actually an enemy in this game. Well, I shouldn't say they're really an enemy.